Okay, let's apply this concept with the uh, Laplace transform of u t minus a. And we note that it will be 1 over s, f of s is 1 over s, and then e to the minus a s, or s a. We can think of this, since we know that the Laplace transform of a constant is 1 over s, but applying our definition here, we can think of this, since this is integrated from 0 to infinity, it's like multiplying a step function of u to the t without a delay, since it goes from 0 to infinity. So that's why we can do the Laplace transform with a step that has a delay, which will equal to 1 over s e to the minus a s. Now let's do the Laplace transform for this function, where we're given f of t is equal to 2 minus 3 times a step with a delay of 2 plus a step with a delay of 3. So, we, so doing a term by term Laplace transform of each of these functions, so f of t Laplace transform of 2 minus, we'll put the 3 outside, and now we have the Laplace transform of u t minus 2 plus the Laplace transform of u t minus 3. Well this is just f of s here. So we have basically 2 over s minus 3 over s, but we multiply that by minus, this is 2, s plus 1 over s e to the minus 3 s. And that's how you compute the Laplace transform for this function. Now the inverse form we could see for the translation property in this case would be the inverse Laplace transform of e to the minus a s f of s is just simply equal to f of t minus a, a delayed version of the function f of t, times the step function that is delayed also. So that's our inverse form for finding the Laplace transform or inverse Laplace transform for this relationship here. Now we're going to do a couple examples in finding the inverse Laplace transforms with delays. So here we note that this is 1 over s minus 4 multiplied by this function e to the minus 2s. However, we recognize that this is just e to the 4t, but because this looks, acts like a delay factor, we're going to replace the t Wherever there's a t, we're going to replace it with t minus 2. So here, this would just simply be e to the 4 t minus 2. And then this function is off for 2 seconds, so we need to add a step function, as shown here. In this one, we recognize this form as a cosine of 3t and we're going to do the same thing wherever there's a t we're going to replace it by in this case pi over 2 so this is just going to be a cosine 3t minus pi over 2 multiplied by a step of u t minus pi over 2. So that's how you do the inverse Laplace transform when your function has delays.